As we set out to record this video, we're faced with a little dilemma. On the one hand, I was about to, to start with the idea that we're right now beginning, commencing the period of the three weeks of the national mourning for the Beit HaMikdash, for the godless that we all experience living outside of Israel, hoping to return to the land. On the other hand, as many of you might guess, the video is actually being recorded um, before the onset of the, the three weeks. And I'm sitting here wondering to myself, wait a second, how can I speak about mourning and the Churban, Gullus, the destruction of the Beis HaMikdash, um, in advance, and really inside my heart, I should be saying to myself, you know, God willing, in a few days from now, the Beit HaMikdash could be back, Klal Yisrael could be back in Eretz Yisrael, the Gu'ulah could take place, Mashiach could come, and the whole period of mourning and availus that we have during these three weeks shouldn't really exist anymore. And what kind of mammon, what kind of a believer am I? that I'm recording a video about a velos, about mourning and a churban in advance, assuming that that's going to be true in a few weeks. It's really, the truth is, it's a horrible feeling. It struck me very, 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 uh, very strongly as we sat, as we sit down to record. So I'll share some thoughts of, with Parshas, about Parshas Pinchas, that tie into the, the feelings that, that we're experiencing currently. Hopefully, we should be ready in a period where we're dancing and rejoicing in Eretz Yisrael together. But if God forbid, Rachman Ali Islam Hashem should prevent this. But if God forbid, the Mashiach hasn't yet come, and we're not back at home, and there's not yet a Beis Hamikdash, let's think about maybe some things that we could do and we should be doing to be able to to bring that back and to be able to make that happen. So we know in Parshas Pinchas we have the story of the Benos Tzlavchad, the daughters of Tzlavchad, who come and claim that they want a chilek, that they want a portion in Eretz Yisrael, even though they didn't have a father and they weren't really deserving of such a thing according to all the halachas that are too complicated to get into right now. But they also, for their special circumstance, wanted a portion here in, in Eretz Yisrael. Moshe Rabbeinu hears what they're asking and he says, let me, let me go ask Hashem, let me find out what exactly we're supposed to be doing. But the Gemara records that the Benos Slavka were called that they had a, they referred to as a group of girls who had a chibu, who had a cherish, cherishing for Eretz Yisrael. They loved Eretz Yisrael, and they didn't want to be left out. They knew that everyone else was going to have, and the circumstances were such that technically they were, were going to be on the out. They were going to have a very interesting situation going into Eretz Yisrael without brothers, without a father, etc., without any men in the family. And we, we don't want to lose out. They had a chibu. For Eretz Yisrael, a love for Eretz Yisrael. And it was that love for Eretz Yisrael that got them to stand up and say, we want it too. And Moshe Benu said, I have to respond to that. And as we know, a Kaddish Baruch Hashem says back to them, you know what, Cain, but Oslav Chadobras, yes, they in fact are going to be able, they should, to talking the truth, and they are going to be able to get a portion in the land. And we see how strong it is, the feeling of having a chiba, having a, a love, and a caring, and affection, and a desire for Eretz Yisrael, gave the Benos Slavchad a portion in Eretz Yisrael. And it's fascinating that right after that in the Chumash, the next Pesukim described that Moshe Rabbeinu is discussing with Hashem the laws of coming to Eretz Yisrael, and he thinks and he hopes maybe, um, maybe his fate is going to be changed. Maybe he's now going to merit to go into Eretz Yisrael. And Hashem has to tell him, no, 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 that's the way, not, not, unfortunately for you, not the way it's going to be. Alei, you're going to go up to Har Avarim, you can see the land, but you're not going to be able to go in. Nothing has really changed for you. But Moshe Rabbeinu was given the gift, at very least, of seeing. You'll be able to see Eretz Yisrael. Because when Moshe Rabbeinu also had that feeling of love and desire for Eretz Yisrael, he wanted it so badly that he was told, we can't let you go. You deserve to not go in. But to see to behold, to look, to envision Eretz Yisrael. That was a Nechama that actually put Moshe Rabbeinu to rest. He had some connection to the land of Israel. And we see from these two back-to-back parashiot in the Torah how important it is for all of us to halavai. It would be great if we could come and live, live here in Eretz Yisrael as the mitzvah in the Torah requires. But if we're not in that position yet, for whatever the reason we have, but to feel a desire, to feel a connection, want to see Eretz Yisrael as much as we can, a picture on a wall, a video here, there, a visit, spending time here in Eretz Yisrael, that's great, but to constantly be feeling that connection. In fact, the Gemara points out to us that we have a requirement to do things that are called a Zecher Lamikdash, to remind us of the Beis HaMikdash. And the Gemara in Mesech at Sukkah and other places tells us we learn that from the verse, Tzion Hi Doresh Eynla. Eretz Yisrael doesn't have anyone who's Doresh, doesn't have people who are seeking her. 
Miklal the Gemara says, we infer from there the Bo'e Drisha, that we have to want and we have to seek out ways to connect it to Eretz Yisrael. So Halavai, it should be Hashem's will that by the time we're listening to this video, the base of Mikdash is already back and we already have in Eretz Yisrael, we're all back at home. But God forbid if that's not the case, we should all try to uplift and raise the bar of our feelings of desire, of yearning and caring about Eretz Yisrael, to want Eretz Yisrael for all the reasons that Hashem wants us to have it, to appreciate the Kedusha, the unique sanctity of Eretz Yisrael, the special Zchuyot, the special merits of the Mitzvot Atuluyos Ba'aretz, the special idea of the Avira the Aretz Machikim, how Eretz Yisrael makes us wiser and connects us to the Torah and Torah Hashem so much more. And God willing, with our desire, our chiba, our love and yearning and cherishing Eretz Yisrael, we should be zoche to the Geula Shalema Bekarov B'Ameinu.